postpartum mindset health resolution. All right, the new year is coming. You want to get fit. You want to lose the baby weight. You want to feel amazing in your skin. Maybe it's gotten really hard to even wipe your own butt. Maybe every time you bend over, it hurts. Maybe you're peeing your pants or you just feel achy all the time. And you're setting a goal to get stronger. Maybe you're setting a goal to lose some weight. Maybe you're setting a goal to become more flexible because you just feel really, really stiff. I want you to tune into this video because we're going to talk about all the aspects to make your resolution a very successful one. So many people start their health resolutions, their new year's resolutions, and they drop off. They fall off track. Most people have some kind of goal and some kind of fitness desire or have some dream weight in mind, and then they lose sight of that goal or they fall off and gain a bunch of weight back. So I want to talk through some tips and some mindset hacks that are going to keep you super locked in on your goals and your routine to get you to those goals. So let's get started. Number one, have a goal in mind. I say you do a short-term goal and you do a long-term goal. These goals can look like anything for my baby's turning one and I want to wear this dress. Or it can look like I just had three kids in under 10 years and I want to be able to run a 5k or I want to run a marathon. Whatever that goal is for you, make that goal have your initial short-term goal, hopefully within like a three month period so you can really hit it and achieve it. You're gonna lock in at the new year. You wanna be able to achieve and hit this goal by March, it might be February. There's no right or wrong answer here, but you want some kind of short-term goal to keep you motivated, keep you on track, and then set a long-term goal. What does this look like for you at six months? Are, is it a maintenance situation? Do you just wanna maintain your weight? maintain your strength, maintain your fitness, maintain your flexibility, or is it a, now that I've achieved this 5K, I'm gonna do a 10K. You wanna have these parameters and these short-term and long-term goals so you can lock in and keep going. I'm gonna give you an example here. In September, I found myself that I gained 20 pounds after a back injury. I have been working for two years and five months on my postpartum journey to lose my baby weight, if you will, but truly it's not so much a weight loss as it is to just be fit, flexible, and healthy. So I gained 20 pounds over the summer because I kind of lost my routines. I got this back injury and it just knocked me out. So therefore I locked in in September that I was gonna get this done. My goal was Christmas. By Christmas, I am gonna drop 25 pounds, and then by March, hopefully, maybe another 25, but whatever March happens, it, there's no weight attached to it. It's more of just a strength situation. Also, it's how I look in a swimsuit. But that's my own personal goal. Yours can be very different. So now I've locked in on this first goal, and, it keep, and I'm locked in on it. And then once Christmas happens, I'm going to lock in and reset to my, my March goal. And my March goal is going to, is a couple's trip to Cabo. And I want to be able to wear a bikini in that, and on that trip. Now I've locked in. Okay. And I've got my goal. I'm locked in till Christmas. Um, and it didn't mean that I didn't enjoy Thanksgiving, by the way. It just means that I haven't enjoyed the cookies from Thanksgiving to where we are here now. And so I want you to keep that same mindset and to realize, okay, I'm going to have this short-term goal. I'm going to lock in on it. It doesn't mean that you're not going to enjoy cookies or anything like that. It's more of just finding this balance and you are going to set your own program or work with a coach to set the program, but you want to be able to know, here's my goal and I'm probably going to eat less cookies to get to my goal, or I'm probably going to have to walk a few more steps per day in order to get to my goal. Okay. So you just, I think the goals are very important. So have a short-term goal, have a long-term goal. Once you establish those goals for yourself, get your baseline. Where are you at now? Maybe you spend the next two weeks before you dive into this goal, really finding out your baseline. Say your goal is similar to mine. You wanted to lose a little, a little bit of weight before. Okay, well, what am I eating every single day for the next two weeks and generally? And if I just make maybe one or two changes, is that enough 
Maybe I just have to increase my protein. Maybe I'm not eating enough at all. So many diets fail because people are under eating. I can tell you as I've lost 25 pounds um, since September, I've been eating 2000 calories a day. It's a lot of calories. I'm not on a diet, I'm not hungry, but I'm just being mindful of what is going inside my body. Um, and it's just what is making my body feel good. And it's not being so sugar addicted to wanna get a donut every time I see one um, or to get a sugary coffee every morning. Um, so it's just those little balances. And what if you just, instead of getting your sugary coffee every morning, you decided, I'm just gonna get a sugary coffee twice a week, right? Or maybe once a week, or maybe your goal is so strong that you're gonna cut it out for that three months and that three months, you're gonna have a little cheat. Maybe you wanna cheat once a month. It doesn't matter, you create this, it's your life. We just wanna keep on track. I heard an amazing podcast recently that has helped me stay on track and so I wanna share it with you. And it was the idea that you can do anything. You absolutely can do anything, right? I started a business, this business is amazing, we have an amazing team, I can do it, but did I have the audacity, the conviction to do it? I did, right? I did it. Now, same thing with my weight loss goals or my fitness journey. I'm going to call it the fitness journey. It feels feels more pure um, because it's really more about a strength and flexibility and, and total body health than it is about any body size. Um, I do think people can be very healthy at very different, vastly different body sizes. Um, and so when we talk about this, can I change my body? Can I get stronger, more flexible and do everything I want to do with my body? I absolutely can, of course, anyone can, but will I? And so I keep going back to that, will I? So that's on me, will I? I don't know, of course, I'm. now that I've challenged myself and I've heard that podcast and I keep saying, well, will I? Of course I can, will I? That anyone can do anything, but most people don't. So it's, will you do it? And that's up to you. No one can do it for you, right? No one can change your body for you. No one can change your situation for you. You have to change it for yourself. And I think that is so empowering and that has helped me stay on track. So I wanted to share that tool with you because I think it's an amazing mindset hack to stay diligent on these health resolutions. The final thing is that you are not gonna feel up to going to the gym every single day. You are not gonna feel up to eating chicken, rice, and broccoli every single meal, every single day. So you need to find what works for your body. What are your favorite foods that can help fit into the lifestyle that you want to have? What makes you feel good? What fills your cup? Are you relying on food to fill your cup? And so you gotta, you gotta be, start aware, being aware of these things. You can take that time and that two weeks to really figure that out. I know so many people like to do certain diets, right? You like to do the keto, the paleo, the vegetarian, only meats, carnivore. You know, there's so many diets out there. I'm more for a balanced diet. I don't like to just like, you know, do one food group or another. I really think a balance is a healthy, sustainable situation, but I mean, you know, you do you what works for you. But if you've had the same goal for two or three years now, and you use that diet in the past and it worked, it maybe got you 20 pounds off, but could you keep it off? And was it sustainable? If the answer is no, I would recheck that goal and recheck the path at which you're gonna to use to get to this goal. Of course you can, but will you? And if you need help, there's so much out there. Um, you know, there's a lot of coaches you can hire. Of course, not every coach is great. Maybe look at their track record. Um, the coach I'm working with right now is just absolutely fabulous and I couldn't be more grateful for him because of the fact that I track a lot of things for him, like how I'm feeling, how hungry am I, how energetic am I, how are my bowel movements? And then he can tell when I'm getting tired or if my body needs a break. So last week we didn't train at all. There was no lifting to be had. I just could do some walking and um, continue on. And he raised my 
calories that I need to eat more food and um and then and I still lost weight but but he read my body and I thought I was getting sick and he just knew oh you need a break so that's where like working with an expert can be really important because they can help you read your body and maybe if you would keep pushing like normally I would push through that and be like nope my Christmas goal is coming I gotta push I gotta push I gotta push but that can lead to such burnout and such fatigue that yes I might have hit my Christmas the school anyways but it might have come at the cost of feeling really bad and so that's where it's like you got to do what's right for you but if you can choose these goals and have that three month goal and have that six month goal and you feel really really good then that's what matters and so maybe it's maybe the goal is simply right now I can barely squat or I'm only squatting with pain okay, so now I want to start a program where I start squatting more frequently and find a way that it's not painful so I can increase my squats. Okay, and then you want to be able to squat with some weight or be able to hold your baby when you squat. And then you progress that goal. So it, again, it doesn't have to be a physique goal. It doesn't have to be a weight goal. It doesn't have to be a strength goal or a diet goal. It can simply just be a I, I just want to be able to squat down and pick up my kid without pain, okay? You got to start somewhere and all of these goals are super valid and super important, but just go into them with the mindset of having a three-month barometer of this is how I've improved and then a six-month one just to keep you going because every single day that motivation is going to decline and you have to stay disciplined regardless of your motivation. And if you can lock in on a goal, it's going to help that be that much more beneficial. So everyone has different goals. I find it to be really important in order to stick to my goals if they are definitive and linked to either a vacation or some kind of a physical fitness event. Um, that helps keep me locked in. So find out what goals you can create that are supportive of where you want your body to be, your life to be, and your well-being to be. And then once you can get that, then you start to create your plan of how you're going to achieve that. And so I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe, share with your friends. I I know we don't really talk about sticking to our goals, but so much on this channel is about health and wellness and having to take ownership of our own bodies that if you know you want to change, this is a great episode in order to help you start facilitating that change so you can stay disciplined to all the amazing things that are out there for you to optimize your life. So I hope you found this valuable. I'm Dr. Allison Felt, located in Edmonds, Washington, and we are just here to help women thrive through the entirety of their life and stay away from you know, unnecessary medical interventions. All right, I hope you have a lovely holiday and I hope you are ready to tackle some amazing health journeys and fitness rev revolutions um, or whatever goals come your way. Drop your goals in the chat. I would love to see what they are and let us know how we can support you. We are here for you and we are your biggest cheerleaders. Of course you can, but will you? That's on you and show us what you do. We cannot wait to see it. Take care.